Hey, we are at the Time to Play Summer Showcase, and I am with one of my very, very favorite people, uh, Lenore Skenazy, who is an author, speaker, uh, talent, uh, and the founder of the Free Range Kids Movement. And Lenore, what's your take on what you're seeing here? Well, I have to say I am surprised and delighted because most of the things that I've seen here are actual toys, i.e. things that children play with rather than things that children just watch. Well, that's great. And, you know, this is one of my particular favorites. Uh, this is from Zing Toys. This is the Zing Air Hunter X Bow. Now, you know, unlike my childhood, they made this kid-friendly and safe, so there's no bowstring, but... Uh, uh, it does fire really well. It does, and from what I heard of your childhood, you would have thrown this in the garbage and probably set it on fire and then thrown it at your brothers. Well, you know, there is no toy that can't be improved by a dose of gasoline. <laughs> so I've heard, right, his poor mother, his poor mother. But now, I do like the fact that the only way you can have fun with this is by playing with it, by, by figuring out a target, by pulling it back, and not just watching it on a screen or pressing a button. You actually have to play. Now, we're coming up to summertime, and it's time to play. Uh, what are you telling parents about what they should be doing with their kids in the summer? What, how can parents be a little more free-range this summer? Well, it's a very free-range thing to do is to recognize that times today are no less safe. In fact, they're more safe than when you were a kid and you were playing outside. Crime is actually down from the 70s and 80s. So if you had fun playing outside, let your kids play outside, too. And, and uh, toys, no toys, make it up. What do you recommend? Uh, here I am surrounded by toys, but of course your kids can make toys, and you know the best toy, they say, is one that's 90% kid. So it means that the kid has to do 90% of coming up with what it should do, what it means, you know, am I the king or am I a robot who's playing with it, and 10% is the toy. Uh, you know, I really agree, and we give we give kids a lot of platforms on which yeah. to do that, and uh, but but it's just it's just fun. I mean, it's really about having fun, and the play starts up here. It really does. You no, know, play starts out there. You got to get them outside, and believe me, I have a tough time too getting my kids outside. But um, if this is airing before May 21st, May 21st is take our children to the park and leave them there day. <laughs> so don't forget to take your kids to the park, and if they're seven or eight, you can start leaving them there for half an hour on their own with a lot of other kids, and they will learn to play because because that's actually something that I'm surprised and sort of dismayed by, is that a lot of times kids are out there and they're like, what should we do when there's no one else to play with? Get the kids out there with other friends and they'll have to start figuring it out. You know, and I really believe in that. I also believe that, you know, there's a lot of play experiences where there's always an adult expert around, hanging around telling them how to hold the bat, how to do the ball. Really, it's just great for them to get out there and just make it up and maybe even be bored for a few minutes. They can be bored for a few minutes, but when they do get so uncomfortably bored because they don't have their device with them, then they have to do something. And then that's when the creativity comes into play. So there's a lot to play out there, a lot of good ideas here at TimeToPlayMag.com, and a lot of great advice from Lenore at FreeRangeKids.com. That's me, FreeRangeKids.com. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> Thanks, Lenore.